The James Webb Telescope makes NASA and all the astronauts around the world very nervous, because this telescope could potentially lead us to one of the greatest and scariest discoveries of the universe, finding an alien civilization. The James Webb Telescope is made to find the first signs of alien life. Perhaps the biggest mystery of all is whether there's someone, or something, alive out there in the cosmos. Or are we utterly alone? That's almost impossible. James Webb will literally, look back in time to see the very first galaxies that formed in the early universe. The James Webb Telescope may be able to look for signs of alien life, detecting whether the atmospheres of planets orbiting nearby stars are being modified by that life. Welcome to Space News Unfold. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and stay till the end of this video. I'll explain to you why NASA believes the James Webb Telescope will find alien life, so let's talk about that. The basis for this search may lie in the James Webb Telescope being so sensitive to light that it could pick up so-called atmospheric chemical disequilibrium. The reasoning is that if all life on Earth disappeared tomorrow, the many gases which make up our atmosphere would undergo natural chemical reactions, and the atmosphere would slowly revert to a different chemical mixture. It is continually held away from this state by organisms on our planet expelling waste gases as they live. Because of this, searching for signs of oxygen, or its chemical cousin ozone, has long been thought to be a good way of finding life. But this does rest on the assumption that extraterrestrial life runs by the same biological rules as our own. It might not. Therefore, assessing atmospheric chemical disequilibrium looking for other gases, and figuring out how far out of kilter from normal a planet's atmosphere sits, could be key to finding alien life of any kind. The chemical makeup of the atmosphere of a planet orbiting another star can be measured in light, by carefully measuring the minuscule dip in starlight as the planet passes between us and the star during the planet's orbit. The gases in the planet's atmosphere cause the light reduction to vary with the wavelength or color of light, revealing information about how much of each chemical is present. Do you think the James Webb Telescope will find alien life in the next two years, and what type of alien life? Let me know in the comments. The James Webb Telescope will look at a planet orbiting a small Jupiter-sized star, called TRAPPIST-1, about 39.6 light-years away from our Sun. This star caused a sensation in 2017 when it was discovered to host seven Earth-sized planets, several of which could possess liquid water, and hence might be a good bet for hosting life. Researchers predict that the James Webb Telescope could measure the amounts of methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of the fourth planet, TRAPPIST-1e, from the dips in light at wavelengths affected by these gases. It would be a tough measurement of an unimaginably tiny signal, astronomers are excited by the prediction, saying, they make the case that this can really be done with the James Webb Telescope. Once the measurement is made, though, researchers explain, you can then ask the question, do we know of any non-biological processes that could produce that effect? Planetary atmospheres, including our own, he points out, can also be modified by non-biological processes, such as volcanic activity. So, if the atmosphere of TRAPPIST-1e was found to be awry, researchers would then need to rule out any non-biological effects before declaring the existence of extraterrestrial life. Researchers say that, that kind of confirmation is going to require multiple observations, to really make a totally solid case. But if we detect something that we don't have an alternative explanation for, I think that would be an incredibly exciting discovery. The James Webb Telescope sees the universe primarily in infrared light. That sensitivity will also help it directly observe alien worlds, though nobody could have planned to use the telescope for this purpose when it was designed. When the James Webb Telescope was conceived in 1989, planets orbiting other stars had not yet been discovered. Planet formation theories suggested such worlds should exist, but the first exoplanets weren't announced until 1992. In the beginning, when the observatory was born, I don't think we even spoke about exoplanets, astronomers from NASA said. Exoplanets came later when we started discovering there were actually exoplanets. Recently, exoplanet hunters such as NASA's Kepler Space Telescope have revealed that worlds orbiting other stars in the Milky Way are as common as grains of sand on Earth. That abundance affords the James Webb Telescope team a remarkable opportunity to study some of the most intriguing worlds in detail. By blocking the light of planet's parent stars with an instrument called a chronograph, the James Webb Telescope can directly image some of these faint, faraway worlds in orbit, even those that might still be forming. 
The James Webb Telescope can peer through alien atmospheres and determine what the gassy shrouds are made of and how they've evolved over a planet's lifetime. It also can read molecular signatures in the day-side glow of planets. How did these planets get to where they are today? How did they evolve? And what scenario could potentially lead to biosignatures to life? Asks NASA's Nicole Cologne, who studies alien worlds and is the deputy project scientist for the James Webb Telescope's exoplanet mission. We need to study everything to answer these questions, she says. Because in our solar system, we have all these planets, and only one definitively has life on it. If aliens detect James Webb Telescope, how would they react? Let me know in the comments. While the James Webb Telescope will transform our understanding of the worlds that populate our galaxy, the telescope is unlikely to spot signs of life, unless scientists are extremely lucky. That type of observation is just on the edge of the telescope's capabilities, and it would require an oversized chunk of observing time. Finding life is going to be hard, and I'm not super confident that we will detect biosignatures, but I think we will be able to say something about the atmospheres of these planets around small stars," said NASA, who will observe five rocky planets with the help of James Webb Telescope. Detecting distant alien biosignatures means looking for combinations of gases or chemical elements that scientists wouldn't expect geologic processes alone to produce. And while astrobiologists have some ideas about what we could look for, methane, ozone, and other metabolic byproducts, it's not clear what form alien life signatures might take. Among the early planetary targets are a handful of rocky, Earth-sized worlds, but they orbit small, reddish stars that are prone to tempestuous outbursts of radiation that might sterilize their surfaces. Whether those worlds have atmospheres at all is the first thing the James Webb Telescope will attempt to determine. There are still so many unanswered questions about whether or not a planet that is around such a small star could even have an atmosphere, astronomers said. The James Webb Telescope can, however, lay the framework for future attempts to detect biospheres. What we've seen so far is that every exoplanet is a snowflake, in the sense that it is unique, and it just seems like we can't make heads or tails of the population as a whole," NASA says. I think Webb will give us that full picture, and it will open the door for us to be able to understand these planets. Ultimately, the telescope will help scientists learn whether studying atmospheres in silhouette as planets transit their stars is likely to be a successful technique for detecting signs of life. We may see that we can't pull out the signals that we're looking for, astronomers say. There may be a fundamental limit to what we can learn about potentially habitable planets using the transit technique. And that's fine because once we understand that limit, we can move on to other techniques. The James Webb Telescope has the specific mission of detecting biosignatures on Earth like alien worlds. And that's what we need to hope for, there is still a slight chance of finding alien life, and one day we will be in contact with any kind of alien life outside our world, thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next Space News Unfold.